everybody welcome back to another activity with bar english academy so today we have got the batch shields here hi shields hi so guys uh, today i have got a very interesting activity and i hope you people have prepared it well so guys today's activity is going to be about creative speech session as you know what creativity is all about creativity is something your own thought your own imagination and something that makes you different from the rest of the world right so today you simply have to come up on the stage and you have to deliver a speech as usual but the twist is it should be creative you don't have to deliver a usual speech as the world is doing as the people are doing but you have to add a twist and an interesting factor in it okay and uh, as the time was given to you uh, in prior only to prepare yourself and i hope you are well prepared as well are you yes please perfect love the confidence guys and uh, first i would like to call mr yeah mr kunal let's welcome mr kunal on the stage all the very best sir <clears throat> okay good evening everyone i'm kunal and i am a script writer and i'm pleased to announce today that i'm going to reveal my new script but to experience the true essence of that script i would like all of you to close your eyes kindly <clears throat> so the story goes like this the story starts in rajasthan the story is about a 12 year old school going girl and uh, she is a normal school going girl who is in 8th class but one day she falls in love with a 22 year old boy who happens to be a local mp a local politician in that area <clears throat> and now they are deeply in love they like each other but what the problem is that they the politician he lures the girl into his house and he harasses her he assaults her and while in that compromising situation he clicks her pictures which are moved and uh, she, then he blackmails her that if you utter any single word in front of police in your in front of your family i'll circulate these pictures <clears throat> in the whole area and it's a small town so everybody knows each other and she is stunned by that then there's a demand comes on to her way that <clears throat> to save herself she has to call one of her friends to the same house where he would assault her again but now it goes on for years on years and on years there have been more than 300 girls who have been assaulted so far sounds like a pretty crime thriller story right but the crazy part is this is not a story it actually happened in ajmer and nobody knows about it this story is not about justice the politician still is the politician in that same area that guy still rules there and nobody in the past two decades has been able to do anything to him this story is not about justice this story is about negligence because this is not the only story that we i'm telling you here this is the story of every other women every other <coughs> girl who is raped who is assaulted who is abducted who is blamed for something which she has nothing to do with out of the 300 girls more than 150 have committed suicide over the past 20 years and only two are left who are courageous enough to talk to the authorities about it but still the st the politician still is still on large nobody ha he has never been uh, uh, he has never been arrested nothing has been able the authorities have not even not even a single thing has been done to him he still is a politician there because we all know that justice delayed is justice denied and today i'm standing here not just rec reciting the story i'm standing here to appeal everybody sitting here and looking at the video 
dead. People who are victimized, people who are victims, it is not, it is not just their fault. We should not neglect these things. This is not just a single story, it is a story of 8 billion people living in the world. Because every other woman, every other guy, every other kid is going through these things. Thank you so much. That was powerful and emotional at the same level. That's a very true thing that he has mentioned. That every another girl of our country is going through this phase. And there are many who are not even able to share their problem with their family members, with their loved ones. Even. Actually, we can only talk about it. We really can't go through their pain. That pain is really, really, really very really pricking. Which really it kills that person from inside. That person is alive. The heart is beating. That person is breathing, but deep inside, he or she is dead. Again, I would say we can't actually go through what they go through, but feeling that is also something like very devastating, very devastating. Thank you so much, Kunal, for actually arising this thing and letting know our audience that what is the reality and I think system should work for that. System must work for that. I really like that line which you said, said that uh, the, the case delayed is case denied. Justice delayed is justice denied, right? That, that's very true in our country. Like there are so many cases still pending and we don't know like would they ever get any justice in the future or not. Okay, let's move ahead then. But we are left with two more performances. So let's move ahead with them. So the next up I would like to call upon the stage is Mr. Abhinav. <laughs> All the best. Hello people. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I have to head to my flight. But no worries, I've got five minutes. And till then, let me share you that where am I going to. So this is a, going to be a trip to Las Vegas. Yes, a city which is famous for its nightlife, casinos, luxurious hotels, restaurants, gambling which is allowed there and what else would you imagine? And my male friends, that is specially designed for you. The male entertainment society and that is what Las Vegas is for. Just rewinding to 100 years back, it was not like this. It was a deserted barren land of 110 hectares, which was then transformed into a city which is now the sixth most visited city in the whole USA, the continent. And actually, the Strip and the downtown are the two famous places of the Las Vegas, which are famous for his luxurious life and of course, what else would you imagine there? So, actually, it's a lot to talk about Las Vegas and its history. but. For now, I am getting late and I have to leave. Bye bye. That was very short and crisp, though. That was nice. <laughs> Again, I would say that was very short, but very like entertaining. I would say, yeah. right? It was, it was like that short ad film comes on the television in between yeah. the cricket match. Yeah. That is attractive, but entertaining and uh, very very short in in size as well. That was nice. <laughs> I like the idea which you actually planned that I, I've got a flight, I gotta I got go and uh, yeah. But yeah, one, one thing I want to add right there which I missed was that uh, you could add some more information about the history of Las Vegas, right? That uh, how it all started and how that particular city turned into that gambling casino and that nightlife for, right? It, it should have been added, but all the best. You, I, I know you'll do it better again. I would like to call, yeah, Aditi. Let's welcome Aditi on the stage. All the very best. Yeah, please. Hey, what is the thing which fascinates people a lot in their personality? Can anyone answer it? Please? Anybody? What is the thing that fascinates people a lot in their personality? Attitude? Okay. Anyone else? Behavior. Oh. Nice. But guys, you have forgotten me. 
Do you know who am I? I am smile. Smile is a thing which can actually fascinate a person through their personality only. You know, whenever I look at me, I always feel happy. I think that I am the only reason that can actually make you happy. I am the only reason which can actually fill some happiness in your life. And that is a smile. I have seen this world, this world very close. You know, this world is full, full of cruelty. But still, there is some happiness. There is some humanity which is actually keeping me with them. Which is actually consisting me with them. There are people who are actually having a human nature. There are people who are human beings in a true manner. They are keeping me with themselves. And I feel very proud that I am the only reason that is actually making you happy. There are many, uh, there are many things which always comes in my mind. That why are the people forgetting me? Why earlier people don't? Uh, I earlier people used to take me as the thing which is very crucial from them for them. Earlier people used to take me as the hope of everything, but now people are just forgetting me. I don't know what is this, but still I would say that if you guys start keeping smile in your face, you would be feeling happy. Same like me, as I am keeping myself with me, I am feeling proud. Even same it happens to everyone. There are many students who actually feel very demotivated, but still with their one smile, everything happens very right. That's what I feel. That positivity can only come by myself, by me. If you are keeping me with yourself, you would be positive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aditi. <laughs> You actually brought that smile on everybody's face after revealing your topic. <laughs> because nobody actually expected this to be there. But that was very nice. You did it well. Uh, again, I would say it could have been better as I told you previously that perfection never exists. Right? So we can't expect anything to be perfect. The same, the, the speech was not perfect, but it was better. Right? So I hope you do better next time. All the very best to you. Okay. So, uh, now the last performance of the day, but yeah, not the least performance. So, let's call Mr. Kapish on the stage. Yeah, I have a request. Can we yeah. turn off the lights? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Like, you want all the lights to be turned off or some? All the All? Are you sure? Yes, I'll turn off the lights. Okay, we'll wait. This is the button for the fan, okay? So, make sure that don't turn this one. Please, please handle it. Okay? So, thank I always help you. I always help you develop. I always with you. I am always with you for your better development. But what do you do with you? You say abuse me. You say things which I don't deserve. And you hate me. Do you know who I am? Do you know? I am problems. I, I, I am always there with you. And what you say to me? You say that, oh my god, I am having so much problems. I, should, uh, I hope that these problems are gone. But I always give you a new experience. I always tell to you that what you need to learn, what you need to do. But still you hate me. I want you all to love me. Because I always am there to help you, not to stop you or have a burden upon you. Please, I want you all to learn from me. Because I am always there to give you a new experience where you can learn new things. Thank you. Nice, that was nice. Actually, I could not expect this from you. Like, this 13-year-old boy did it. Like, that was a nice idea, like, turning off all the lights and uh, coming up with the, a very, like, good intro line. Who am I? And then he turned back. That was also very nice. Then he turned back. Now, I'm the problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was nice. Okay, I, I must accept one thing. The initial performances were not that engaging. But the last two to three performances were like, yeah, this is what we call creativity is. So guys, the students, uh, look, everybody performed and it was all your imagination what you presented right there on the stage. And I respect all your performances from the depth of my heart, right? But look, as I mentioned before as well, perfection never ex exists. Perfection is just a myth, right? But betterment is still there. You can't be perfect, but every day you can be better. 
right so whatever the performances you have seen today extract something productive out there try to uh, put it in your performances and prepare yourself for the future performances that next time you will do something you will catch something from their performances and you will add on in yours one get that so right now it's quite difficult for me to choose one as the winner because if i talk about abhinav kapish kunal you three were really nice i i must accept this thing you three people just took the entire session today it was like show stoppers as you know the show stoppers come at the end so they three just turned out to be the show stoppers they just came at the end just and uh, simply took off all the session with them so let's clap for these three boys too. very nice very nice so guys yeah uh, that's all for the day today and uh, please work over your creativity and imagination and the way to do it is just to read more listen to more people explore more go out meet people see the things experience the things these are the only things which can actually add creativity in yourself in your life in your imagination also right so start doing it it's not very difficult thing something arduous you can't do it's just a piece of cake by practicing by learning by performing more you would definitely learn this right chalo so thank you so much and i hope you also enjoyed this so yeah stay tuned with us for more content like this and uh, if you have got something to suggest us so please comment in the comment box we would love to see your suggestions and we would love to bring changes as per your suggestions thank you so much guys bye